Hey there, my name is Suman and welcome to Purple Pie Studios. So this is the lesson 12 of the Corporate Explainer Animation course. And in this lesson, we will learn how to rig hands like this using Twig Angela. And if you have missed the previous lessons of this course, then you can check it out from the playlist link that is provided in the description. And you can get all the files, assets and illustrations that we are using throughout this course from our website that is again linked in the description and also in the pinned comment section. So that being said, let's jump right into Adobe After Effects and let's get started with the step one of the rigging process, adding bone layers from Dwick Angelo. So now we are in After Effects and we will start from where we have left in lesson 11. So this is the hand composition. Let's start with rigging one hand composition. Let's get inside the composition and let's start with rigging this finger. And also let's select the hand layer. First we have to decrease the opacity so that we can properly see the overlap between the layers. One more thing, for this hand I would like to modify the shape path a little bit. So I would like to just uh, change this sharp corner to a bit rounded corner like this. So to bring the basic handle, you can bring the cursor on any of the corners and press and hold the control key plus the alt key to bring this convert vertex tool. And of course you can access it from here as well. So let's fix it and properly place it at the overlaps between the fingers and the hand. Now go to Dwick Angela on the bone section, click on humanoid, then arm structure. It will add arm bone layers. So this is going to be the arm layer and I will place it exactly at the overlap. Since this finger's overlap is not completely rounded, it has a sharp corner, I will uh, just Place this uh, anchor point of the arm structure or arm bone layer exactly at the point of contact or else if it was a round overlap, I would have placed it exactly at the center of the circle. For example, here we have a round overlap. I will place it exactly at the center. Now here we will place the hand somewhat like a if I imagine a circle here at the tip of the finger somewhat center of that uh, of that circle is this position now this is going to be the tip of the finger that is it now we can select it and place it on top of the finger layer okay now let's move on to step two parenting the illustration layers with the bone structure layers okay so this is the finger 1.1 or this is where i have placed the arm bone layer so i would parent this with the arm bone layer and this one uh, on top of this we have the forearm uh, bone layer so we would parent this layer with the forearm bone layer other than that uh, we don't have any other layers since this structure layers is for the hand there can be a hand layer if we are we were about to rig and uh, a limp but uh, right now we don't have any such thing so this is all we need to, uh, these are the two layers that we need to parent with the bone layers. Now let's move on to step three, auto rig. So now to complete the rigging process, we have to select all the bone layers of that particular limb or that structure and then go to links and constraints in the twig. Then click on auto rig over here. Now this is the only controller you need to animate this finger. Now you can see when I move it over here, uh, you can see a weird uh, shape uh, that is actually getting exposed for the hand layer. Again, I would just uh, fix it, just place it somewhere around here, that's it. Right now, if I just uh, move it using the selection tool, you can see there is no such thing. So now let's move on to step four, where we will repeat the process to rig other fingers using the similar method. So first let's add bone layers for the thumb. Now parent the layers with its bone layers and auto rig to rig the finger. Now let's do the same for finger two. Now it's time to rig the finger three. 
and finally finger 4. Now that all the 5 fingers are rigged, we can bring back the opacity to 100%. So let's select all the illustration layers here in the timeline for the hand and just bring back the opacity to 100%. Okay, now let's move on to stage 5. So let's get to the full screen mode of the timeline and in this stage, we will select all the arm structure layers of all the 5 fingers and then parent it with the hand layer. And also let's select all the controller layers, all the 5 controller layers and parent it with the hand layer as well. So let's get outside the full screen mode. So what exactly it's going to do is uh, if I suppose uh, rotate the hand, the hand is going to rotate with the with all the finger rigs together. So right now we can easily rotate the hand and animate the fingers as well. Now let's move on to stage six, the final stage. In this stage, we have to just properly organize this particular timeline you can see there are lots and lots of layers and we don't really need any most of this layer most of the layers here in the timeline so we have to lock the unnecessary layers and shy it out so which are the layers we actually need what we actually need is just the forum layer the hand layer and these five controller layers that is all we need to animate this hand now so we will select all these in between layers. First, we will select the structure layers. Now you can either select the bone layers manually or get back to twig. Then click on this button to select all the bone layers here in this composition. Now we will first click on shy and lock the layers. Now we can activate shy. All the bone layers are hidden. And then we can also shy out all the illustration layers of the fingers because we don't need to do anything with the illustration layers of the fingers. So first we will lock the layers and then just turn on shy for all these layers. So now we are just end up with the layers we actually need to animate this hand. And also let's rename the controller layers here because it is too confusing. Okay, now this hand is completely ready for animation. And that's the end of this video. And in the next lesson, we will use this hand rig and animate the hands like this. So that is it for this video. I will see you in the next one. Until then, goodbye.